Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dickie's videos, where no war game remains unplayed. Favourite do, here we are again with another rendition of what is on my desk, and of course, things that are on my desk. And of course, we kind of missed, I've been a couple of days, weeks since I've actually posted anything, but we here come back and to the Lord of the Rings Isengard Battle Host, which I'd please recommend if you're a Warhammer Lord of the Rings player. It is great value. The Isengard one is really good, which we're talking about now, but I've looked at the other ones, they're brilliant. So we're coming back to the completion of the Isengard Battle Set. This includes a couple of other things uh, that I managed to paint at the same time as painting the Isengard set. As you can see on the screen, do apologise for my dodgy pictures because I need to improve my camera work. So this is the 48 plastic miniatures. Uh, you get Saruman on foot and Cavalry, the Palantiv and Grimworth. You get 48 miniatures, you get loads of scouts and loads of Urukai. A little disclaimer, the models you see on thing are a couple of extras that I had lying in boxes unpainted. So I literally painted all the 48 miniatures plus all the extra stuff I had back to tabletop standard. And I will um, link to below uh, the uh, basing material uh, which I really really do recommend uh, which is called Gaming Geeks Gaming Geeks Scenics and I do, don't have any like what's the word um, shares in there coming over but I really do recommend that all the base material you see today is amazing and it's I, I really recommend it so we're gonna have a quick look through all the models so there you go I actually this is uh, in prelude to me playing a tournament of 500 points at um, uh, Lord of the Rings thing so there we go we've got of course a uh, Urukai battle standard bearer with a uh, spooky red eyes on the top of the thing we have Saruman himself you know what I, I'm an average I'm a tabletop painter guys and you know what I really like what I do and I, I felt I did a really good job on Saruman and I didn't want to, I've seen some amazing spray paint stuff on anything and it's really nice model on the foot and the Palantir like I did like green I don't know if you can see it on the right side uh, the picture has like green um green um things and we have a uh, grim uh, grim worm at the back we have a um Orakai or drummer. Uh, next to him we have Muha, uh, a double well sword character, and we have Lurts. Here we come to some scouts we had, and we oh there we got some scouts, and now we have got some Orakai in their um, in their prime. So we did like a lead belcher, null and oil wash with all the uh, jams on there, looking really really good. Um, Lurts is by far one of my favourite characters in uh, Lord of the Rings. And there was another you've got a few crossbowmen did i put all the pictures on here oh yeah we've got a berserker i painted at the same time but the crossbows are really good in lord of the rings but yeah i think the effect that did comes comes across really well and like it's like a very much metal sheen uh, of all the stuff and all the uh, pikemen and all the rest of it and I, i've really really enjoyed it uh and the back end to there i'm sure i had more pictures that i took that i didn't uh, didn't show everybody um but I think I missed about missing the scouts picture actually, so I'll have to try and put that in somewhere. Yeah, I think we're missing a scouts picture. Are we missing a scouts picture? Oh yeah, I might be missing a scouts picture here. Have to just, just just have to see. Oh yeah, I think we're missing one scout picture, but it doesn't particularly matter. It doesn't thing. It just shows that the kind of scent. But I did, I painted all of it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is completed. Lord of the Rings or a Kai Force. To honestly, I've got loads more stuff I want to buy and paint, like uh, like some de de uh, demolition teams. But this is kind of the thing. Really, the 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 pack is amazing. Um, but the the scout. I think you can see one scout model on this one of these pictures that I painted. That they're all, they are painted. It's just uh, I didn't actually put them on here. Where is he? But I really enjoyed, really enjoyed every single woman painting these. There you go. That's one of the Orakai scouts with a bow. Uh, and one of the guy who's slightly out of focus. So there you go, folks. Take care. Remember, keep painting. I really do recommend checking Geek Gaming um, Scenics. That's how I did all the bases. I think the best one probably could show you is Saruman's base. That's it. You just dip and it's done. And, of course, the standard bearer as well is really cool. So there you go, folks. Take care. And we'll come back yet again with more rubber rendition of what is on my desk. And bye-bye.